Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and I'm sharing those with you. Today, we're looking at Job chapter 2. How do you respond in the moment of great suffering? In our journey with Job, we're going to watch him suffer both in a moment and over a long stretch of time. These first two chapters capture his resolve to remain righteous in the initial crisis. Chapter 1 brought about the loss of all his animals and children, which represent the loss of his wealth and future security. In this chapter, we observe the onset of a painful illness, which will lead him to wish he was never born. The heavenly wager intensified in Job 2, verses 3 to 4, after Job remained faithful to God, even though he had suffered many great losses in a single day. And I quote, The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? For there is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, fearing God and turning away from evil. And he still holds fast his integrity, although you incited me against him to ruin him without cause. Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. God authorized Satan to use non-lethal means to further test Job's integrity. And great personal suffering was brought upon Job. You can read this in verses 6 to 8. His wife even rebuked his resolve to remain righteous before God and said in verse 9, Curse God and die. Job remained righteous before God as Job 2 verse 10 captures his response to his wife. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God and not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Seize the moment and face your crisis with integrity. In everything, give thanks to God, for this is God's will for your life in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. When you're in pain, do you sin with your lips? How do you accept adversity from God? Seize the moment.